you're looking at an unsinkable metal. Watch it again. Even if you hold it down, it pops right back up. This is not an illusion. Researchers at the University of Rochester made this metal object buoyant by taking inspiration from nature, specifically from rafts of floating fire ants. The metal was etched with a crazy powerful laser, making it super hydrophobic or extremely water repellent. Even if you poke it with holes, it still rushes to the surface, meaning you could conceivably build unsinkable ships with it. To learn more about the technology, we sat down with one of its inventors. My name is Chen Lei Guo. I'm a professor uh, in optics and physics at University of Rochester. Describe for us uh, what you have done in this new project. In this project, it's actually a following a work we did uh, a number of years ago. And at that time, we developed this so-called super hydrophobic surface. We use ultra-fast laser pulses to process material surface. So the, the surface will consist of a range of uh, microstructures and nanostructures. They can trap a lot of air by the surface structures. So essentially we have an air cushion right on top of the surface. So how do you then use these super hydrophobic materials to create something that's actually unsinkable? So we start with our super hydrophobic surfaces. We arrange them facing each other and then there's an air gap in between. So this structure traps a large amount of air, and then the whole thing will have effective density, less than water. So it has a, a very high um, buoyancy. It will keep flowing back up. And you could even damage the structure. You could poke holes in it, and it would still float. Yeah, absolutely. The, the reason for that is if you puncture the surface, it's only that part will, will the water will come in, but the surrounding area will still, the super hydrophobic property, will still keep the water off. The remaining sections, and they can still flow. Therefore, in principle, you can puncture as many holes as, as you want. You can reduce this to zero, and the, the structure will still be able to flow. And my understanding is that you had some inspiration here from nature. One type is Eidenbell spiders. The other type is fire ants. The common feature is they both have some super hydrophobic body surfaces. For the spider, they live their entire life underneath water, but they still need to breathe air. So what they do is they periodically come to the surface and then, and then use their hydrophobic body to grab some air and then trap the air and underneath the water, they will breathe into this water, this air bubble, so they can leap underneath the water. And for fire ants, so all the fire ants has also have this uh, super hydrophobic uh, body surfaces, they grab onto each other and form a raft. And this raft will keep them afloat because the large amount of air trapped um, between their body surfaces. So is this thing actually unsinkable? This structure from the extensive experiments we have done is unsinkable. And as long as we keep this integrity of this metallic structure and you will not be able to push it down. Of course, if you rip open the, the metallic structure, the super hydrophobic surface is sinkable. Okay. And you, you can easily push down the super hydrophobic surface. We did experiments with submerges, forces submerged for two months. And as soon as you release the load, it's drawn back up again. You know, we, we haven't had time to test it for, you know, permanently yet. But based on the, all the evidence, everything pointed to is, is extremely highly, highly flowing. Can you walk us through what kind of laser you used here to etch this metal um, and how it went about creating this super hydrophobic surface? The laser we used is a so-called femtosecond laser. And femtosecond is a one millionth of a billionth of a second, extremely short time burst. Within this short time burst, the peak power of the laser pulse is extremely high. It's actually equivalent to the wattage of the entire North American uh, power grid. 
the laser pulse that just delivered this extremely intense pulse onto the surface. And instantaneously, we can transform a smooth metal surface into a highly textured one. Beyond the lab with this little tiny piece of metal, where might it be applied in the future? With a larger laser, faster scanning speed, we can speed this up and really make it in a much larger scale and apply to uh, to applications such as ships and ocean vessels. And also flotation devices for electronic protections when those electrons have to deploy at sea. So say you were to scale this up into something like a larger structure that you want to be unsinkable, could theoretically a really heavy load um, weigh it down, kind of as you have done in the lab to make it actually sink? So the current ship, they have this structure. They basically display a large amount of water with the heavy load, right? Um, the problem is once the, the ship gets damaged, the, the structure itself will not be able to uh, float. And that part and the ship eventually will, will sink. Our structure, we can also make the ship hole with our metallic assembly. And we still can benefit the same uh, loading capacity. We still can make the same shape. But the difference is, if there's a damage, the metallic structure itself is able to survive. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you for, for your interest in our research.